Do you get rejected in love, ghosted, left? I just did a video on this and ask Loz video. Those scenarios all have something in common with them and what they are in common is your thinking. So if you commonly get ghosted, you probably have an assumption that you're going to be rejected or not chosen. If you commonly get left, like abandoned, it's a bit different than ghosting, like they'll just leave you after years or whatever, or you assume they're gonna leave and you get triggered and you leave. There's a commonality there of you feeling like you're gonna be abandoned. It's different than rejection and not being chosen. I identify all these things in your Ask Loz questions. You can actually send me a question, but I also do it in my coaching and in my courses. The thing is, guys, you've actually got to identify what it is, your story that's running your life in your subconscious that's causing the outcomes like ghosting and abandonment. Because if you don't, regardless of whatever whatever manifestation teacher or coach tells you, like telling you to step into the stage and just be the new you and the best version of you and the girl who has it all, you can do all of that. But unfortunately, that old tape's running in your mind and it will fuck up what you're trying to manifest. It will fuck up the new version of you, unfortunately, because it's so strong and prevalent and been there a really long time and it's there to keep you safe from harm. Your subconscious is trying to not let you get hurt. It's not trying to actually hurt you, but it hurts you by constantly reminding you that you're going to get hurt or left or rejected or not loved. You've got to identify those things, guys, if you want to succeed at manifesting the love you want. And there's also my free perfect partner checklist. Go and download it and it will actually step by step really make you think, well, what am I looking for? And then once you know what you're really looking for in a person, you can really start working on those self-concept issues that fuck up your manifestation when you manifest those people in. Because sometimes you'll manifest that perfect person and your self-concept will still mess it up. But you've got to decide the person you want in the first place. So use the checklist and there's, of course, my big love course.